I'm so excited. <laughs> Ever since our executive producer, Aaron Varbo, went back in time last semester to bring us some news from 1995, we have had an onslaught of requests to bring him back on the show and send him back in time once again. Well, I think it's just because a lot of people like to <laughs> get rid of him for a little bit. Yeah, well, that, that's kind of true. But anyway, Aaron has submitted, our, has submitted to our demands, and he has gone back in time once again. So we're ready for a segment we like to call Aaron Varble, Time Journalist. Time Machine! Wow, that gets better every time, doesn't it? All right, hello, Aaron. Are you there? Yes, Jamie. The high-def image transmitter is working fine here on my end. Can you hear me all right? Is it working okay? A little staticky still? You know, it, it, it's not a perfect science. I mean, for Christ's sake, I built a time machine. You can't get much better than that. Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell ever, everyone at home, the audience there, that one of our upgrades to the new set this season was the installation of a high-def image transmitter so we can bring you people this unbelievably funny element. <laughs> How could you forget? Basically, Aaron and Jamie just put a sticker on the TV. Shut up, Courtney. We're fancy. Anyway, Aaron, get to it. This high-def transmitter is running us a lot of money, so let's go, let's go, let's go. That's right, Jamie. I'm here in 1973, where Roe vs. Wade is pissing off back alley of all over the country, where O.J. Simpson's actually playing for a real football team, and not like one of those from the longest yard, and where Richard Nixon is fin finally signed the Paris Peace Accords, ending the very first Vietnam War. Wow, that was a pretty fierce opening. Is everything okay, Aaron? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just a little bummed because I thought that since I'm getting here in 1973, I could be the very first to realize that Dark Side of the Moon and Wizard of Oz are married. You know, the third lion roar. But yeah, you've already figured that out. Kind of disappointing. I could have been a stoner god. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> While I'm here, I figured I might as well visit George Lucas on the set of American Graffiti and just try to convince him not to put Muppets in the third Star Wars movie. I love the Ewoks. They're so cute. Why can't hot chicks Chris get Star Wars? The Ewoks are Muppets. They should have been, they should have been Wookiees. What the, what the merchandising? Well, may the force be with you on that one, Aaron. Anything else you have been able to screw up in 1973? Well, since the Miami Dolphins just won the Super Bowl, I figure I'm going to show them a documentary of last season's team, you know, keep their egos in check and let them know they have really nothing to look forward to. Except for the Ace Ventura movie, that was, that was pretty good PR. I thought that dolphins were gay sharks. <laughs> well, here in 1973, they're still making real movies. Like The Sting sweeps the Oscars. That's a good movie. And, of course, Disney's still making real movies. Like those amazing uh, musical ones, you know? Like Robin Hood is on this season's menu. Yeah, it's great. My daughter loves that movie. Well, you should totally bring your daughter to come, come watch it. I mean, tickets are only $1.50 in these theaters. You're using modern currency in 1973? Yeah, I use 2009 currency. Uh, I mean, the only problem is that they think our 20s look like spaceman dollars. Well, that's all well and good, but is there anything else you want to add before uh, we wrap this beautiful segment up? Ah, nothing much. It was a pretty boring year. I don't really know why I picked this year, except for the fact I wanted to pick a year where I could take a picture with Michael Jackson when he was still black. Whoa, 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 too soon, too soon, too soon, I too soon. I am personally offended. Too soon. What? No, you know what? You know what? He got whiter as he got older and creepier. You know, I don't care if he was murdered. I don't care, but you know what? A, a Michael Jackson turned white joke was funny before June 29th, 2009, and it's... Okay, okay, Aaron, 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 stop, stop. We're losing you. We're losing you. Thank God, we're losing you. That was our <laughs> producer, Aaron Varble. What a... What a great guy. Goes to show that anybody can make it on TV. Well, I tell you what, it's part of a class. Our next band is here to perform a song off their newly released EP. It's available on iTunes. Their music was also featured on NBC's 25th anniversary of WrestleMania. They will be performing at the V Club September 12th. Please welcome Adam Smash. <laughs>
shoes Well, the ice is what the ice is Paint a mind to the blood stain To a brown road Gunshot with the End of me